In this video, we will demonstrate the new functionality for maintaining cost center groups as of Enhancement Package 6, as well as time-dependent hierarchies. When selecting the cost center group to maintain, you can choose so-called operators to help you find the groups to maintain. In this example, we are looking for all groups that contain the text string D10. Then we select the group we would like to change and double-click on it. You can now see the standard hierarchy for our company, which is currently structured into a corporate subgroup, a southern group, and a northern group. Now we expand the structure so you can see all the subgroups and cost centers underneath. You can see that each of the three main groups contains a production subgroup, a sales subgroup, etc all of which contain the corresponding cost centers. To change the hierarchy, we press the Edit button. We can now change the names of the groups and subgroups. To shift a cost center from one group to another, we simply select it and then drag it with the mouse where we want it. Then when we are done, we hit the Save button. It is now possible in SAP CO to maintain different versions for a cost center group. To see all the versions already existing, we press the button Select Hierarchy Version. In the pop-up, we can see that there are five versions altogether. First, there was the original version, which was valid before the company underwent a number of organizational changes. The padlock in the column Activation Status indicates it is deactive. That means it is a previous version of the cost center group which is no longer active, but it can still be used in reporting to see what the structure was like at that particular time. When we double-click on this original version, we can see that the company used to be organized by functions. Instead of a north and a south group, there was one group for marketing and sales and one for production. When we expand the hierarchy, you can see that it consists of the same cost centers as the current version, but in a different hierarchy. As this version is deactive, we can no longer change it. Therefore, the Change button is grayed out. We now go back to the selection of hierarchy versions. The original hierarchy version we just saw was replaced by version 01 during the first reorganization. As you can see, management decided to move marketing to the corporate function so that the sales group no longer contains any marketing cost centers. This version is also deactive, so we can no longer change it. Soon after this, a second reorganization occurred. This is the state the company is currently in, organized geographically into a north and south group. This is the active version, which you can tell by the green light in the activation status. However, the third reorganization is already on its way. Our controllers know already what the new structure will be like and have created a third version which will only be activated when the organizational change actually takes place. This version is currently inactive, which is indicated by the gray diamond under activation status. As you can see, management gave up the geographical structure and went back to a central sales department. Since this version is still inactive, we are still able to change it. To activate the third, still inactive version, we have to go to the Configuration menu in SAP ERP. There we head to Controlling, Cost Center Accounting, Master Data, Cost Centers, Activate Inactive Hierarchies. We then choose the hierarchy version we would like to activate. Please note that our controllers are already planning for a fourth organizational change, as you can already see a new hierarchy version. When we have selected the hierarchy version, we remove the test run flag and execute the transaction. We receive a log of the changes the system carried out. Our hierarchy version was activated and closed. This means it is now deactive. We go back to the cost center group maintenance now and see that the second hierarchy version, which was previously active, is now deactive. The third hierarchy version is now active. We mentioned earlier that there is already yet another hierarchy version which the controllers already use for the next organizational change. 
The controllers are not entirely free to come up with versions as they like. Every hierarchy version must be defined in the configuration menu first before it can be used. To define a hierarchy version, go to the same menu tree as for activating the inactive versions and choose Define Hierarchy Versions. In this transaction, you can define new hierarchy versions and their predicted activation date.